Tovi. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know... I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me. Or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And no... Perhaps you can aid me in locating Hytham. What is your purpose with him? I have brought a sampling of goods from Ireland. That is, if I can bring my ships to dock. Azar! I see you've met Eivor Wolfkist. Ah, so you are Eivor. In fact, I bring you a message from Ireland. I know no one in Ireland. The letter is from Dublin's king. Sadly, I seem to have misplaced it. The King of Dublin? Why would such a one write to me? He wishes to expand trade to England. The purpose of my bringing goods here. Azar is from the East, but lives in Ireland now. But in matters of trade, Azar, your king should petition Ranfi. He claims to know Eivor. He asked me to accompany you on the trip there. I know no king, and I'm certainly not about to journey to Ireland. But first, Azar, you must build a trading post. In fact, where is your trade ship? Ah, oh, yes. An unfortunate incident most concerning. Trading rivals have blocked the river and thus my goods. A blocked river hurts all Ravensthorpe. Stay. I will put things right. As you see, Eivor is a person of action. Find me later, when the river is safely clear. Of course, my friend. I thank you, Eivor. I will find the king's letter in the meantime. You keep insisting that I know an Irish king. It is a fantasy. Use your tongue, or what I will... What matter of king is it that sends me letters from Ireland?
Huh? <laughs> 
like that. Thanks for the good work, Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. Azar, the river is clear, save for a few bodies and sticks. Your goods will get through. Your reputation comes honestly then, though I am not sure about the name Wolfkist. The scar on my neck. Ah, my Viking name would then be Azar One-Eye. Thank you, Azar One-Eye. My men will help construct your trade post. Then I am twice debted to you. If ever you change your mind about Ireland, I will be found in the trade post, once built. Oh, and I found your letter. Here. My cousin. 
Assassin Barneth is alive. King of Dublin. The not near never failed to delight. Aver, are you prepared to go to Ireland? Asar, you did not tell me the king was my cousin. It was most amusing this way, was it not? A little mystery. I prefer to know what is what. But it was a pleasant surprise. He's eager to see you. Shall we set sail? Yeah. I would like to see this land. And my cousin Baurith. Ireland, a patchwork of petty kings jostling for hills and pastures and green, green glens. My adopted isle. Azar, how is it that Barith, as Norse as ice, is king of Dublin? Dublin is a Viking city, Eivor. But in fact, merchants and beggars come from all parts to parade in its muddy streets. Odd to think of Barith as king of a city. It perhaps sounds grander than it is. Ireland has many, many kings. They litter the countryside, and Barith's throne is not secure. Flan Shinna calls the tune. Who's he? Soon to be crowned High King of all Ireland. Flan distrusts Vikings, though he needs them. Barith will find a way. As a boy, he wasn't much of a fighter, but somehow always came out all right. I'm sure what you say is true. Certainly he is loved by his people. Your crew can find lodging here. Come, let us find Barith. Eivor! Blood of my blood! Look at you! You have on thrust us cheekbones! <laughs> and you, the seven-year-old lives in you still. It has been a long stretch since we pelted old Ganfrid with apple cores. <laughs> he never forgave us that. And Sigurd in the clan? How goes with all? There is much to tell you, Barith. But let me breathe your Irish air. Thank you for keeping my ports from being set ablaze in my absence. My ports? Yes, old man. I can rule my city even without you here. Eivor, you arrive in good time. I'm hosting a feast in honor of my son, Sifrith. He is 17 today. A 17-year-old son. And rather a difficult boy at that. Come, there's much to show on the way to my castle. A kingship, a son, and a castle. Truly, you have a fine life, Barry. Castle? It is a wooden house. Finely crafted, to be sure, but in Shiraz, 
It would be home to a middling rug merchant. Lead me to your rug merchant's wooden hovel, Badi. Just look at her docks! The babe of a city, but the biggest port in all Ireland. You cannot appreciate Irish air without enduring the stench of our docks. It is upon the strength of this port I plan to secure my kingship. Assad told me that your throne may not be entirely steady. King Flan needs some persuading is all. Dublin's vast trade web will bring wealth to all Ireland. If Flan can be made to see that, my kingship and that of my children's children will be safe. I cannot guarantee your throne, but a vast trading web is within my power. No one else I'd trust my commerce to, old man. <laughs> you let him call you that? I call him worse things. Forreth, my king! I still owe you a horn of ale. This is where I leave you. Don't miss the banquet. I'll be there shortly. Farad, <laughs> my mighty king. Aoife, this is my cousin, Eivor. Show him the bow I had you make for him. This is for me? The craftsmanship is beautiful. My best work. Give her a try. Hit the targets before the sand runs out. Think you can get them all? I just want to get a feel for how the bow handles. That's sure. Watch my arrows fly. I certainly will. Go! <laughs> Damn good shot! It's a very nice bow. Thank you, Boris. Steps off the boat after a long sea voyage and shoots like a master. Well done, Gutten. Wait, is that a house of God? Aye, Christ's own church. Ireland is mostly Christian now, and so is Dublin. Many Norse chew the wafer. You make a place for them. Them? I myself have a place in Christ's house, as I do in the house of Thor. So long as a god has my back, he has my altar. I've built this city up from rubble. Twenty years ago, us Vikings were beat. The Irish took revenge and sacked Dublin. Asar told me that it's a Viking city. Norse founded it, and I nursed it back to health. When I became king, I was king of a mud pit. There, up ahead, my home. <laughs> My only regret is that my mother and my wife aren't here to greet you. They've gone on pilgrimage to the mountains just now. The waters there improve mother's health. I am left to discipline my wayward son. And to host a banquet, which should be already underway. Up, Barred, for dear! Here we are. Please, go enjoy yourself. I must have a word with my son. Come meet him before the night's out. Azar, I was not sure if I would see you here. Why is that? I thought you'd rather take stock of your wares than placidly observe caterwauling Vikings. And you... You would rather spend time with this gossiping Ganti? I like to greet everyone at parties. There is no shortage of amusements. Enjoy yourself. Hey! Hi. Enjoying yourself? 
It's great crack. It's a fine thing to celebrate future King Siegfried. I'm curious. How do you feel Barith has done as king? Oh, he's done a lovely job he has. Likes to throw feasts. Invites us common folk. More host than king, perhaps, but he's a fine man, and the city has never been busier. Can I ask, what is your life like in this city? Well, there's a fair amount of work, isn't there? Hauling crates, shoveling muck. I'm a tanner myself. Long days stripping hides and dousing them in cow piss. You can probably smell the stench. Yeah, I can. Enjoy the feast, friend. You as well. Not with your it's past time to put away childish things. What do you expect? Sigfrid! I expect my son to act like the future king, not roll in the muck. So Flan will take you on as his farting court jester. Think with your head and not your arse. Flan can assure my throne, which will one day be yours. That makes you the arse. Enough! Eivor, my son, Sigfrid. I'm sorry, I... I must clear my head. Could you speak to the boy? Only shitbirds mock their father under his own roof. Right. Because the cousin who just arrived has the authority over how I speak in my own home. In Norway, you'd be knocked to the ground by now. Come on, then. If you have any guts worth respecting. Fine, whelp. You won't land a single punch. I guess I owe you thanks for not beating me bloody. I'm not here to quarrel with you, Siegfried. Da speaks so highly of you. I wanted to see if you lived up to the stories. Does anyone? You're unhappy with how your father rules. Da has the makings of a fine king. But he chooses to play the unctuous merchant instead. A visit to Norway might do a young viking girl like you some good. I'd love to go with Da. Maybe the homeland would kindle his warrior spirit. Give Dublin a fair and fearsome king. I've lost track of your father. Any idea where he might be? He wanted to clear his head. That means he's visiting grandfather's grave. Da has a chat with him almost every day. Barith can commune with the dead? <laughs> no. His conversations are all one-sided. The grave sits at the top of the hill. I'll find him. Thank you, Siegfried. Eivor! Teach me how to hit like that sometime. <laughs> 